the plan is to have over half of them up and stored away before the day is done and try and get the rest of them tomorrow. We're at least getting all the bigger signs and picking up any yard signs we see along the way. You you have done this as yeah. long as I have known you. Yeah, to, to me, it's, it's what we're supposed to do. The election's over. Um, get them down. We, we need to focus on where we go from here. Uh, if, if you're the victor, then you've got responsibilities. And if you didn't prevail, then your responsibility is clean up the campaign signs and decide what your next move is. So, so these signs, will they, they go back to somewhere, to a shed or I, something? I have a barn uh, that I put them in and one stall dedicated to the smaller ones and, uh, and another area dedicated to the half dozen larger ones I have. It'll be stored away till the next election or and, and the Lord tells me I don't need to run again or the voters tell me I don't need to go back, whichever, I'll figure out what to do with the scrap wood at that point. But. <laughs> This just isn't done because we'll we'll still we'll see signs up at Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the election's over. Yeah. Um, under free speech, you've got the right to a lot of latitude as to where you put them up and those kind of things, and rightly so, so the people know who's running. But when the election's over, to get them down so the people can start focusing on what the next election might bring and who's running the those. Well, I know I speak for a lot of people that say thank you. Well, I appreciate it.